assuming everybody out there has seen Godzilla Minus One, right? And if you haven't, you've at least seen some of the clips where he's destroying everything. Well, today, not only is he destroying buildings and whatnot, but apparently, my boy's destroying the mic as well. Because we're reacting to a video titled, Godzilla Sings a Song by Aaron Fraser Nash, and this is Godzilla Minus One, the monster parody. I don't know. I didn't know my, my boy could sing, so uh, let's see. Godzilla Minus One. I'm expecting this to be tough, by the way. It's Godzilla Minus One. Hold on, let me turn this up a little bit. The beat goes tough, I can tell you that. Now take up. That voice. I, I feel like that's what Godzilla Minus One would sound like. <laughs> he sounds so evil, man. <laughs> He's kind of nice with it. Okay, G. Oh, that atomic breath scene, bro. God, to the minus one is tough. Whatever you thought you were wrong, I am bigger. So fear me, for I'll be coming through a bad dream. No, I'm Let me know what you all think of God to the minus one. And his new voice. <laughs> I like it's accurate a little bit. Broken down to zero. Now take a like if he could talk, he would sound like not this, but the guy that's rapping, not singing. I'm gonna bring you to your knees, crush your whole country. When you try to play whole God, country. Expect some surprises. There he is. That's God to the minus one. We'll crush this city like a flatter. Don't know why. Don't you see you created me? Catch 22. Now you're in line. Yo. God to the minus one's tough. Hold up! <laughs> Switching up the flow, bro. Um, I gotta take a drink. It's getting hot. God to the minus one. My boy's nice with it. Who would have thought? Gods of the minus one. Absolutely tough. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. It was evil. But I mean, it was nice at the same time. All right, we got one last video here by Dangerville. This is Godzilla another Godzilla minus one, one. one. and it's titled The Hidden Meaning of Godzilla Minus One's Ending. Popularity. I feel like Fans we needed just a little bit more Godzilla Minus One here. Agreement, the film is a masterpiece. It, there's totally going to be a sequel. Elements of the From original, the ending, Godzilla is a true force. Let's of see what we know here. Let's see. Revenge on humanity Bro, that song was tough, by the way. Creation. There's tons of drama, action, carnage, tension. It was a great movie. In the film, great that all movie. leads us to the climax. Let me know what you guys ending. thought about it. But like, if happened? you've seen the movie, I thought we'll it was take great. A closer look at the ending of Godzilla. There were some odd one, opinions that I saw, but might be hinting it's opinion. At a sequel. You know, everybody's got an indifference here. Got so a difference. Without saying that there will be monster spoilers ahead. So if you've not watched monster it, spoilers, you now. should have seen it by now. It's been months, remain, right? I'm Alistair. At least a month. To danger, man. Let's go. Another song. Let's go. Hit another Godzilla minus one rap. Okay, just the intro. Sorry. Godzilla minus Here one throughout harks back to the 1954 original. It really it's did. Dark. Godzilla is a real. It was like a horror scene. Japan horror movie. Must unite if it must defeat this titanic beast. The film opens in March 1945. So good. Mere months before the end of the war. 
At the beginning of the film, our lead, Koichi Shikishima, is seen landing on Odo Island for repairs to his plane. They gotta call the, the new one Gods of the Minus 2, right? And find nothing wrong with it. I mean, it makes it sense. turns out Koichi is a kamikaze pilot. I think that'd be whose sick. one mission is to fly into enemy ships and destroy them sacrificing himself in the process. That's insane. Though his nerves got the better Action. of him, and he decided he wanted to live. Yeah, Despite good for him. what the government has tried telling him his purposes. And he and actually ended up being island, the savior. He comes across Godzilla, but looking different. That's not Godzilla! This one is unmutated, more dinosaur-like, and the much smaller. The unmutated Godzilla. still deadly nonetheless. One of he was almost like a dinosaur Sasaku, at the beginning. orders him to get to his plane and blow the creature up to save the rest. But once again, his nerves got the better of him, and he witnessed all the inhabitants of the island. Is that how it went in the first Godzilla 2? The monster, all except one survivor. I haven't Sasaku, seen that movie in a long time. Become important later, though. Upon returning home to find a recently firebombed Tokyo, people don't welcome him with open arms. At Instead, all. Instead, they shun him, calling him a coward and blaming him for all the casualties in the war. If you just did your job, my family would still be here. I gotta tell that to one says. person, though. You his know what I'm failure, saying? His failure, combined with his traumatic experiences during the war, Ooh. haunts him to his very core. When he sleeps, he returns back to that island to witness his failure all over again, seeing Godzilla tear through the engineers. I'm at, bro, when I'd have Godzilla nightmares for the rest of my life if I saw Godzilla. Mutated form, In that form. a 1946 nuclear bomb test, It'd be over kills with. his only closest friend, Noriko and thousands of others by blasting its atomic breath at the heart of Ginza. So we he, thought. Now plagued with guilt and anguish, so we thought finds a new purpose in life, and that's to die while taking Godzilla with him. So Kenji hatches up a plan that's unlike anything seen from a Godzilla solid film. Solid plan, by the way. They had a solid the plan. Buoyancy, Did it work? Sinking Godzilla to a depth of 1,500 meters. Not really. In hopes that the pressure will crush the creature. But I thought it was it working work, at first. They the color went away. Plan to rise it back to the surface with balloons at such a speed where it will be killed through the explosive decompression. They managed to lure Godzilla to the area of attack. They got and it. Then I mean, yeah, they did their job. Device, which creates bubbles, lowering the water's buoyancy. This is similar to how some people drown in rough waters. The foamy, bubbled up waves make it difficult to swim in leading to them sinking to the bottom. So when they activated the device, Godzilla sinks right to the My bottom boy of dropped the ocean. all the way to However, the bottom too. Godzilla begins tugging at the cables. The plan didn't work. The king of the monsters is still alive. So they commence plan B to rise to the rose. surface, which went all the way back. What happens to deep sea creatures that are quickly brought to the surface would be extremely gruesome. They managed bro. to force Godzilla up to 800 meters but then it breaks free and stays put, avoiding the rapid decompression. When all hope was thought to be lost, a fleet of tugboats arrived to assist the two ships Not and the managed tugboats. to pull Godzilla back to the surface. His skin starts expanding from the pressure, his cells breaking down, and he rides around in pain. But Koichi, who felt like the plan wouldn't work, recruited Sosaku, the engineer he got that Odo eject Island, lever thing? to repair a broken down I, 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 I did not even think about that. And load it with explosives so he can fly directly into Godzilla's mouth, blowing it up from the inside, taking his own life in the process. And what a savage. GMK! That's the most evil Godzilla again, right there. Pointed right at the that civilians boy. helming the mission, Koichi took his fighter and flew into Godzilla's mouth, blowing it up from the inside. The explosion burst Godzilla's skull and wide worked. open, and the atomic breath begins bursting from the holes in his body caused by the depressurization, destroying Did the it body work that all the remained. Way, but you know, there is going to be a sequel, so. Lost, we find out he ejected out of the plane last minute, narrowly escaping his doom, finally able to live with himself. Now his war is over. Savage. He returns to Tokyo, where it turns out Noriko is still alive, recovered from the wreckage be it with some wounds and radiation sickness from the blast. And there was some and black Koichi thing on the back of her neck. Finally live in peace. That's but how they closed the out the movie. Shot of the film reveals the mutilated corpse of Godzilla, faintly mm -hmm. glowing. It's began regenerating. Just regenerating. as the thought they were safe, the threat of another attack looms. And it's probably going to be bigger in the next one, too. The film is He's probably going to come back bigger, stronger. Place in the war. 
Oh, the main character is someone that doesn't want to die, despite living in a culture that has taught him it's cowardly to bail on a suicide mission, and that it would cause great disrespect to his family <sighs> and his that. companions that died in the war. That During World War II, many Japanese soldiers were forced to give their lives for their country, even if it was clear that there was no hope of victory. Shikishima yeah, it's was one goofy. of these yeah, soldiers but, hey, it is who was set is. to give his life for a cause that was all but dead. But when faced with a threat as great as Godzilla, when you've lived through traumatic experiences, you can become desperate. He was planning to die he was in desperate. battle against Godzilla. He did his thing, bro. Sasaku, the man that blamed him for the deaths of all those Saved engineers his life. on Odo Island, had come to terms with what they were dealing with Basically. and ordered him to live. Realizing that by uniting and putting aside your differences, you can work together to defeat. I want to see what he says about war. the black thing that's the on her neck. The kamikaze fighters the Japanese used weren't built with ejectors. Because that was the true you ending. That was like the. To die for was it the cutscene thing? But the Shinden was. The post scene? Which I, gave I, don't I don't remember. The opportunity to save it was either himself. at the end or the so very end. Godzilla is a metaphor for trauma. After his first attack, all people can think about is when he will come back, what he's capable of, and how he will kill again. If all you do is think about it, that fear and terror will leave you debilitated. Yet, even with all this considered, Godzilla Minus One is still about hope. Coming together as a community still about hope, to but he is coming back probably odds. bigger and stronger. And in the end, they managed to take Godzilla down. I hope they got a big plan. Where they can rebuild and start anew. Now, in terms of a sequel, Will there Here we be go. one? Well, if the final shot of the film has anything to say about it, absolutely. Absolutely. You see Godzilla's corpse begin regenerating and regrowing, and the iconic Godzilla music bombastically starts back up, mm -hmm. implying this won't be the last time we see this King of the Monsters. And since it's doing so well critically and at the box office, a sequel is practically Yeah, it just guaranteed. makes sense. It's definitely going to come again. what would happen in the sequel? Would Godzilla fight another giant monster like Angiris? That would be or sick. Would it be another solo Godzilla film? That is going to be the end of this video. Let me know what you would like to see in the second Godzilla Minus One. I think I'd like to see him fight another monster. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching with me. I love you. Goodbye.